गुड डे चिल्ड्रेन साई राम आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑफ ग्रामर इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टार्टेड अबाउट डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड्स इन ग्रामर लेसन नंबर फोर डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड्स सो लेट्स टेक अ क्विक रिकैप डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड्स टेल्स मोर अबाउट नेमिंग वर्ड्स describing words can describe a person place animal or thing i hope you all remember this children all right let us solve some exercises place the describing words given in the bracket and rewrite for sentence you are my you can see a down arrow and then it is written friend and in the bracket it is written best so what have you what do you have to do children you have to place the describing words given in the bracket the describing word which is given in the bracket you have to place it where there is a down arrow that is before naming words and then rewrite are you all understanding children all right so let us see what is the answer you are my best friend you are my best friend what are we doing your children we are placing the describing word before the naming word and we are rewriting the sentence you are my best friend have you all understood good let us see the next sentence there is a street in front of my house and in the bracket it is written wide so here we are going to put a describing word before the naming word so what will be the answer let us see there is a wide street in front of my house there is a wide street in front of my house all right we'll move to the next my mother brought a pillow for me in the bracket it is written soft my mother brought a pillow for me in the bracket it is written soft so we are going to place a describing word before the naming word and where can you see a down arrow my mother brought a soft pillow for me my mother brought a soft pillow for me let us see the next sentence rajni wore a frock yesterday in the bracket it is written pretty we have to place describing word before the naming word rajni wore a pretty frock yesterday rajni wore a pretty frock yesterday next sentence she is a girl in the bracket it is written clever we are going to place a describing word where you can see an arrow she is a clever girl she is a clever girl let us see the next exercise what are we going to do your we have to underline the describing words your there is a small 
passage. I am going to read and we have to underline the describing words. Let me read the passage first. Meena's father brought her a pet bird. It was a green bird. It had a red beak and a long tail. It often jumped on the thick rod. The cute bird was given a bath every day. Its wet wings looked pretty. I hope even you all have read the passage along with me. So now we have to underline the describing words here. Are you all ready children? Very good. Meena's father brought her a pet bird. In the first sentence, in the first line or in the first sentence, can you tell me what is a describing word here? Tell me children. Here the describing word is pet. So I am going to underline the word pet. Next, it was a green bird. Tell me, what is the describing word here? Green. Very good. Next, it had a red beak. So here, the beak is being described as red. So here, even red is a describing word. And a Long tail. Your the tail has also been described. The tail is long. So your long is also a describing word. It often jumped on the thick rod. They have described the rod. The rod was thick. So your teacher is underlining the word thick. The cute bird was given a bath every day. They have described the bird. Cute. So cute is a describing word. It, its wet wings looked pretty. They have described wet. Wings were wet and pretty. So, these all are describing words. What are all these? Describing words. Have you all understood children? Very good. Let us move to the next. Fill in the blanks by choosing the correct describing word. Let us see the first sentence. She jumped his dash umbrella. There are two describing words in this. You have to choose the correct one. Sweet, colorful. Can umbrella be sweet? No. Umbre can umbrella be colorful? Yes. So the answer here is colorful. She jumped his colorful umbrella. Isn't it easy children? Okay. She jumped over a dash puddle. Can a puddle be easy? Or it can be huge? Describe. Yes, it can be Huge. So the answer is huge. She jumped over a huge puddle. Next, she waved to her dash friends. Three friends 
or bad friends i think she is better yes she waved to her three friends next i play dash games active games or empty games children which is the correct answer do you play empty games no i play active games the leaves are salty green tell me the leaves are very good the leaves are green the leaves are green in color na children yes she likes the dash jacket happy jacket orange jacket can a jacket be happy no so the answer is orange she likes the orange jacket the pilot flies a dash aeroplane let us see the example big clean which option is correct children the pilot flies a big aeroplane very good the lion was hungry blue so the lion was blue no the lion was hungry i hope children you all must have understood what are describing words okay i'll see you in the next class children thank you children sai ram